Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ansipov, and in this video I am going to show how to add slider component into your mobile application. Let's create new app, slides app, and import API plugin. We need slides plugin. Plugin has two screens, dynamic slide screen and static slide screen. Let's test how this application work. For that we need to change routing. So we can change default route from screen 1 to any dynamic slide or static slide. So now we see dynamic slide screen and we can make sliding first and back. And now let's click static. Now we see another screen. So actually this screen works absolutely the same as dynamic. And the difference is only in implementation. Now let's take a look how this application works. Go to April and open first static slide screen. Let's click on the screen and we can see that there is a slides HTML component. It is a container ion slides and there is ion slide inside of ion slides and there is then div component inside of ion slides and image inside of the div. Also there is two text component inside of the div component. During the testing we saw that there are four slides but uh, right now on the screen we see only one. In order to see all of them we have to press outline button then expand content and here we can see all slide component of our slides. In order to see required slide we can hide all other slides. So for example if it's needed to see what is upflow slide, we can hide first and second. And now we can see what is a upflow slide and can modify it. So change text, image and so on. Now let's take a look how dynamic slide screen work. So here there is only, only one iron slide element. But here we see that we iterate through slides array and uh, every element of this array has image property which is reference on the image and uh, title and text attributes. If you would open code tab and then variables we can see our slides array. Now I am going to show how to add the same functionality into absolutely new screen. So in our case it will be screen 1. For that let's change default routing to screen 1. We will create a static slides. For that let's go to static slide screen and then select slides HTML and copy it. Open screen 1, select content and paste. Then we can change our slides. So let's show the first and second slide and let's remove this one. For that one we can change image for example on this one can so let's hide this and this. Let's change text and this text then let's hide first slide and show second slide so to do the same here and now let's test now we see our new slides so let's make a sliding uh, as you see everything is very very simple and by analogy you can create a dynamic slides too uh, that is all what i wanted to show in this video thanks for watching